Well, he's well known for his garden designs, and now John Karloftis is sharing them in a new book. Beautiful Gardens of Kentucky features 21 private and public outdoor spaces, including Henry Clay's historic Ashland Estate. And you have a chance to meet him at a special event this Saturday in Lexington. He joins us now this morning, along with Mindy Mobley with L.B. Harkness. We'll be hosting that special That's event. Right. Thank right. you all That's for right. coming. Thank well, you for having us. We have looked over this book oh, this morning. We got to look, and John, I mean, it's just magnificent uh, the the pictures the photography uh, and uh, just to discover all these beautiful gardens uh, are across Kentucky well I you know I didn't know because all I do is work in my own gardens and but I've always admired some of these so that's what's so great about this book it's uh, it's it's so many it's uh, garden designers and private people that just have done it themselves so it's it's really nice to showcase other people's talents and the diversity that we have in Kentucky it's not just uh, the big horse mm -hmm. farms, but it's little postage size stamp backyards. That people have just made so special. Yeah. There's a woman, Lois in Poland, who's the, she's got the most clever garden I've ever been mm. in my life. And it's uh, here in Lexington. It's She uses her next door neighbor's buildings as her, she paints them to make her look great for her as her backdrops, Isn't which is so something? great. Wow. You know. Some of them are <coughs> quite elaborate. Yeah. Though, Healy Whitney see. Museum. Oh, look at and that. there's Gainesway. We're so yeah. lucky to have the backs here in Lexington. I mean, you know, wonderful. no one does gardens like that anymore. Absolutely. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about the event this weekend. Well, we are so thrilled, of course. We always are thrilled when John's here, but we're especially thrilled because we were, will open the rooftop garden, which is normally only open during our event. So, mm -hmm. of course, it's the premier event with the gardener himself, the garden designer himself, to be at L.B. Harkness. And we're thrilled to have him there. He'll be there all day from 10 to 5. And, of course, we have the fabulous books that he'll be signing. If someone cannot get down, however, we, of course, can sell the books beforehand and he'll sign them for you and um, but it'd be a great outing for mom for anybody oh so. yeah John is you advise people it's we were just stepping outside it's such a beautiful morning out there right now and it's, it's just such a great day to go sit in the garden mm -hmm. that kind of thing what would you have people keep in mind as they design their own garden uh, don't go too big do one little room at a time I always recommend doing the place right outside the back. Let everything else kind of, you can just mow it and let it go green, let it go natural. <laughs> but do that one place where you have a table, where you may have a grill, uh, where you have uh, maybe a sandbox for your children. It's just the place that you use every day. And if you can get that figured out, then you move on. Well, and you know, that really makes it less intimidating. You describe it as a room and think of it as mm -hmm. such one little space and we'll just work that at a time. But then move on to the, you know, you, right. move on, you get that under control. But this, this rooftop garden, in the, uh, it doesn't get any better than this. All oh, right. Well, thanks thanks for coming by. Beautiful Gardens of Kentucky is the book. John Karloftis, thanks for being here. And we're back with more in just a moment. Your American Idol recap is coming up.